So this continues the video on taking a what's a within a polyline and putting them on demo layers. Um, so there was some stuff where it would add it if it was within the area. So so if my polyline was within it, and then I had a polyline that was outside of it, the geometric extents would overlap. And I really don't want to process this one that's obviously outside of it. Um, and then also if a polyline or some object crosses it, I want to determine that it crosses it and then modifies the object. Um, so I need to filter out the blues and then handle the greens. So I'll go ahead and check that to see if they're crossing. And I'll pass the entity that I'm testing. And I'll add that as an extension in the entity extensions. And so I want to store the intersection points in a point 3D collection because that's what the method define intersecting points are. Uh, you need an O pointer or an int pointer. And then I want to do it against a plane, so just an XY plane. And so here's my entity, and I want to in intersect with my other entity. Um, it's going to be on both operands or both entities. I want it projected to the XY plane, and then it's going to return the intersection points. And then these are two placeholders for the, the values. And so if the intersection points is greater than 0, that means that it intersects. Um, even if it's equal to zero, that means they, they don't intersect. And then I also want to return the intersection points Then I can then process uh, the object based on what type of object it is. And so then I can come back to my demolition and then do the out 3D collection and return my intersection points. And then just to make it a little bit easier on my code to read later on, And then I also need the entity. And then I can see what type of entity it is and then determine what to do with it. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and figure out what the entity is.
and so this is going to cast it. It's going to see if it's a polyline, and then if it is a polyline, it's going to cast it to the polyline. And then I also want to change this to its own method. So once I'm done processing it, and I can change the demo suffix to a constant. So I don't have to pass it around. And so if it does cross, um, and so I want to modify the polyline to be split up into its segments. So to do that, you can do the split values. So if we look at the curve object within the AutoCAD API, there's a get split curves. And so I'm going to change this code to, to get the curve object instead, and then call it curve. Um, there's a points, 3D points collection and a double collection. The double collection is parameters, and the points are um, actual points on the, the line and they need to be exact and sometimes AutoCAD doesn't return exact and will throw an exception uh, located here if the point isn't on here. And so to help mitigate this and not include like the beginning point and the end point of the curve, I'm going to go through the intersection points and add those into it as uh, parameters. And so I'll create a double collection. And this is an AutoCAD object that'll store double values. And since it's an AutoCAD point 3D collection, I need to explicitly call it to point 3D. And then it'll get the parameter at point. But I found in the past you need to get the closest point to.
and then it'll add that parameter at the point. Uh, but there's an issue here in that our intersection points are projected in 2D. And here I'm trying to get the closest point to that 2D location. And so if I were to look at it in 3D, like maybe that's if this is Z and that's the direction. If my point is here, I'm I'm looking for the point here, but the shortest distance is going to be perpendicular from that point. So this will give me the wrong answer because I'm looking for the blue X and it AutoCAD is going to return this. And so I need to change that. And so here I have the curve and so I can add another extension method. as a curve extension. And then if I go to this forum post, There'll be some code there that I could create an extension method to return the correct location. And so this will tell it to get the closest point, but use that vector normal. So if I have my line here, my in 3D, my point here, where Z is pointing up, then this will say, hey, use this vector normal, which will be in that Z direction to find that closest point and return that correct value. So then I can come here and get projected point. And then it'll get the correct parameter that I'm looking for. but I want to check it before I add it. So if my Um, I want to skip it. Um, if not, I want to add it to it. So if I have my area polyline in blue and then a green line, and let's say it intersects at the beginning and the end of it, um, I don't want to split it because it's really just within that area uh, happenstance. And so I don't want to split it based on that that value. And then if the double count is greater than zero, then I want to go ahead and split the curve. And to do that, I do curve, get split curves, and I'd get my double collection. And so then I have my split curves. And then I can determine if the split curve is within the, the polyline. And so this is going to be the poly area. And I forget the name of it. And so that's going to be in 
the geometry extensions. And it's uh, get point containment. And so I want to use the split curve um, at a test location. So I'm going to get the length of it. And I need to cast it as a curve to get it to show up. And so I want to get the distance at the end parameter. And then get a test point. And my test point is going to be the split curve get point at distance, and it's going to be at the midpoint uh, distance of it. And so this is going to be my test point. And then I want to do it based on my point containment. So if it's outside, I want to go ahead and do my split curve and dispose of it because I don't really want to use it in this situation. And I'm going to dispose it, dispose of it so AutoCAD doesn't throw an exception later on uh, with an access memory access error from it. If it's inside, I want to add it to the model space. And I want to convert to demo layer. And then I want to do the same thing if it's on the boundary. And I want to add the ability to add it to model space anywhere. And so I'm going to do that on the entity extensions. And rather than pass the transaction around, I'm just going to go ahead and add it. and create the transaction at that location. If it's slow, then I can always add it to it later on. Um, but actually, instead of disposing it, I want to add it to the model space on the out, no, yeah, on the outside. And then for the curve, I want to go ahead and upgrade open and then erase the curve. So if green is my boundary, the red portion would be adding it if it's outside the point. So this would be my test point. And then let's say I have a segment that travels within it. It's going to be on the inside. And then if it's on the outside, again, that's going to be green. And so these would be my three segments. And I want to add this one to model space. And then that's going to be on the, the original layer. This middle portion is going to be put on the demo layer. And then I'm going to delete the original uh, curve segment and get it out of the drawing.
And since I'm processing the convert to demo layer, I don't need to do it at this location. And then I can go ahead and test it. So I'll go ahead and start Civil 3D. And then I can run net load again and do demo layers, select my polyline, and then see that it didn't work. And so I still didn't find that. These are on demo. This one is on demo. And then I need to figure out uh, what 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 went wrong over here. So to do that, I can split this up. And I just want to deal with one object at a time. And then I can move this over here. And then I can see what's going on. Uh, but there is one thing that I need to change uh, and process the, the intersection points, because I forgot to do that. And that's probably why it's not working. And so here I am. And I do want to skip if it's the same object ID, I want to skip that. And then here I want to do uh, process intersection points. And then I'm missing the object. So it's going to be DB poly area entity, and then intersection points. So then I can hit play. So then I can hit F10 to hopefully see if it adds it. So here's my current parameter. And so it collected the two points. And so I can see that it has two values. Here are my split curves. And I ended up with three, which is the expected number. And then it'll go through and process it. So first one is outside, which is expected. This is inside or which is to be expected. And then outside, which is to be expected. And then I'll delete the existing curve. And then Here I should return because I don't need to set the convert to demo layer again. And then I think I'm in an endless loop. Uh, because once it adds the object ID, I think it's going through. So to prevent it from to do this, so I'm going to go ahead and And I'm just going to go ahead and add in the poly object ID. And 
and then And then I'm going to add the range and add those object IDs, but I'm putting this in the wrong spot. And then I can make this screen bigger. And so it adds it there, and then I need to add in the current object ID, and then I need to check for a null here, because in the database there'll be non-entities in there, and so I need to skip that one as well. So if it's not an entity, it'll uh, continue and skip that. So then I can try it again, and then I can try it again, I'll select my polyline. I'll select it go. And then hit play or hit F10. And so it added it. I'll just let it go and play again. And then if I look at this, so here's my bridge abutment, bridge abutment demo, and then bridge abutment. Here I have my bridge peer demo. I have my bridge peer demo, and then the bridge peer demo. So for some reason, this didn't quite work out like it should. Looks like something went wrong here. So we, so I'm going to have to fix that. Um, but it looks like this did it correctly. And these were all added. Um, but this was also added. So I'm also just fix that while I'm here, if it's a curve. So I'll just do undo. I'll do demo layers again, select my project area. And then I want to see if it's correct. Um, or within it. So I'll do a poly area. Um, again. For the curve.
So I'll get it at the end parameter and then divide that by two. And then if the point containment And so if it's outside, I just want to continue and skip it. So it doesn't set it to convert to demo layer. And so appears it did that correctly. And then if I look at this one, it's not um, layer zero. And so it skipped the value. Um, so that means I need to fix this still and then find a way to, or come up with a way to be more sophisticated on what the demo is. Uh, because I might get drawings from someone else and maybe they have a different um, layer format than what I have. And so I'd want to go ahead and convert this to the correct demo layer based on that consultant's layer name. 